Hi, I'm Claudia Johnson, author of Stifled Laughter, nominated for the Pulitzer Prize when it was first published in 1994. And now Fulcrum Publishing is bringing out a whole new edition of the book um, because it's, alas, even more relevant now. And they want to introduce it to a whole generation, a new generation of readers. So I'd like to introduce it to you by reading the opening scene. Chapter one, March 8th, 1986. I'm sitting by my father's pool in South Florida. It's a pleasant spring night, the mullet are jumping in the deep water canal beyond the pool screen enclosure. My husband, the folklorist Orman Loomis, is regaling my father about life in Lake City, the small North Florida town where we live. Ann and Ross, our two children, are already sleeping. I lean back, close my eyes, let the ice from my scotch mist melt on my tongue. I've just passed my doctoral exams in English at Florida State, six months of nothing but study, stacks of books and three by five, card soup to nuts, the Greeks to the present. I'm tired. Orman mentions a minister back in Lake City, a man named Fritz Fountain, who wants the school board to ban the high school humanities textbook because two selections, Lysistrata and the Miller's Tale, promote, in the preacher's opinion, women's live and pornography. I set down my scotch mist and snap. He did. What? It's one of those moments that keeps me guessing about a great design. After reading more than 200 plays for my exams, I decided that Lysistrata is the finest stage comedy written, a rare breed of play where women are victors, not victims. And the Miller's Tale, as Orman well knows, is the reason I'm studying English at all. He's heard the story so often. He likes to joke that he could motif it. I can tell by the look on his face, those brown eyes getting bigger, that he knows what I'm thinking. Oh, don't get involved, he says. Please don't get involved. They'll be burning crosses in our front yard. I did get involved. <laughs> I really did get involved. And that's the story I tell in Stifled Laughter. Um, it's the story of how profoundly my family and I were changed and empowered um, by the five-year-long fight for freedom of speech. And I hope when you read the book, you will be too. So go to fulcrumbooks.com and check out the new edition with its witty pink wave cover and um, a beautiful blurb by Judy Blue. Thanks, enjoy the book and keep the flame of freedom burning.